Hello YouTube. So, you join me back in the office, back in the car. We're about to go shoot out and do a little bit of testing on part of my um, all-wheel drive manual controller. So I just wanted to show you basically all you're gonna see of it. Um, I haven't got all the casings and stuff done yet, so it's not a finished product, but um, I'm gonna basically go test, see how the theory works between switching through modes. So, let's have a look, see here. Let's see if we can see that. So currently it's in zero, which is front wheel drive mode. Flip it to one. That is the, um, what, 7030 lock. And then you can flip it back to two, and that's the, um, the full lock. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go out and go find a nice road, switch between some modes, maybe leave it in the front wheel drive now, see how it goes, switch between um, switch the between them on the fly, see how it makes the, the back feel, see if it feels weird, you know, changing um, the amount of lock on the diff. I don't think it should, um, but well, let's see how it goes. And um, I'll report back, see how the uh, how the whole thing feels. Right guys, so um, yeah, it's all working. So zero is front wheel drive only. The, the first uh, switch position is the intermediate lock, so I'm calling it 7030. And then the, um, the, the second position is the full lock. Uh, just went up and down a hill and it all works. Put it in front wheel drive, it spins up. Put it in 7030, it, it slightly pushes the front forward. And 50-50, it's just solid, it just goes. So um, yeah, successful. It's all working. Um, I think the time, the time has come to start really buttoning this uh, project up. So start putting the trays on, start um, wrapping the exhaust and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do this week. Um, get the exhaust off, get it wrapped up. There are a couple of little things I need to do here and there just to tidy things up. Um, and then I think it's time to uh, officially badge the thing. So uh, let's see how it goes. We'll, uh, I'm gonna definitely be doing more testing, more flying up and down the road when I can. Um, but yeah, things are looking really good. Right guys, another day in the garage. So today, we're gonna to get round to wrapping the exhaust. So what I'm gonna do, I've got it all off at the moment. Let's have a quick look. So I got all the back piece off. I'm actually, on the back, this is the first one I'm gonna try. I'm only gonna wrap from there to about here, cause that doesn't need to be wrapped. It's just the parts that are around the back diff and around the front diff that I'm gonna be doing. Um, so I've got all the pieces, um, wrap, tires, all my tools, a bit of water. So what I'm gonna do first is measure a bit out, dunk it in the water, and start putting it on there. Um, never done this before, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so I've got a little bit of a dilemma here. I ordered 50 by 50 foot by 2 inch of this wrap, but um, if I wrap the whole back piece, I'm not going to have enough. Now my original plan was just to wrap this section here, which goes by the diff, but I wasn't sure if it was going to look a bit weird. So probably going to jump online, see what I can uh, see what I can see. Maybe order another roll of that for the front. I'm already starting to get itchy and stuff, so this is just lovely. Um, yeah, let's give it some thought first and get on the internet, maybe order some. Right guys, so I've ordered more wrap. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna decide I'm gonna wrap all of this and I'm gonna do the back little bit of the exhaust that I can do with this 15 foot of wrap. Um, I've ordered an extra 10 mm -hmm. meters of it, I think. Um, so I'm going to get this part done, and I'm probably not going to be able to do the down part yet until the stuff comes tomorrow. But that's fine. I'm in no huge rush. You can do the back, let it dry off, put it all back on. So, back to the time lapse.
All right, guys, so let's have a quick look at my handiwork. So what I've done, basically, you wrap it around and then you half lap it over, so 50% overlap the whole way up. I've stuck a cable, uh, cable tie on here now and just left a bit of extra because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap from this side now and then come over this all and then wrap all the way along to the end here so it's all nice and neat. Then I only have to use one, two, and three metal tires. Um, it actually wasn't too, ha too bad. I am a bit itchy. Um, this isn't... I don't think this is the proper fiberglass stuff. This is called lava um, wrap. But um, yeah, I think as a first attempt, it didn't come out too bad. Um, obviously, once it dries, it's going to heat. It's going to shrink a little bit more, um, contract a little bit as it is. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that, to be perfectly honest. Right guys, so there it is complete. As you can see, a tire there, a tire there, and a tire there. So all wrapped up. Um, 50, tried to get a 50% overlap pretty much over the whole thing. Um, it's quite difficult to do, especially when it's my first time, but it came out looking quite good. Quite happy, I mean, there's a few spots that are a bit more or a bit less than 50%, but you won't see those parts. You can actually see which is like those two parts that are really good, they look really good. Um, so yeah, I'm happy about that, unfortunately drastically underestimated how much I'll need so this was five centimeter wide by 15 meters I'm, sne I'm thinking it might have only been 10 meters that they sent me to be honest but um, yeah that's about it and I've got about a foot left over so if you want to do these things that is two and a half inch and three inch piping um, wrapped over 50% um, it's probably about four foot worth of pipe maybe a bit more and yeah finished off 15 meters of that that uh, heat wrap so if you want to do it yourselves buy extra i've had to order another two rolls now for the rest of my exhaust so yep yeah, there we go time to let it dry off on this nice sunny day we had today and uh put it back in the car all right guys so since we're waiting for some exhaust wrap to come and stuff and um, we're just finishing up the last tiny bits uh, I'm denied and I think it's time to actually badge up this project now So what that signifies to me is I wasn't going to put this on until I'm happy with it until I've beaten the hell out of it until I am confident that it's going to stay in this form and that's pretty much where I'm at at the moment, so Let's get to badging it up a bit and giving a, making this project a bit more official and uh, Hope you guys like the badging Okay guys, so first off, got me a new Ford badge, that was just black at the, uh, for the time being. Um, I've actually had this for a, quite a while, I just wasn't putting it on, wasn't too sure whether I was going to put badges back on here or not. Um, and then, the one that uh, means everything to me, the XR 5x4 Turbo badge, so it's officially badged up, obviously I've had that BRC Performance badge on for quite a while. But yeah. I think that gives it a good look. It's not too in your face. I have got wheel sensors that have the same style routing and everything. I haven't put those on yet, but I will be getting those on at some stage. Um, I might refurbish my wheels first before I put those on. It's not really needed to do that because obviously the wheel sensors come out. But yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think about it. All right, guys. So another day back on the uh, exhaust. All wrapped up now. Um, down pipes on. Heat shields back on, um, getting it all front together. So basically today we're going to get it all back together, get all the under trays on. It's going to be finished. Going to do some um, cleaning up. Got some grease all spilt all over the place, so I need to clean that up. Um, but yeah, other than that, things are going good. I'll show you uh, a bit of progress in a, in a little while. All right, guys. So um, that's it. Pretty much done. Whole exhaust on. Um, what else have I done? I've bolted up a bunch of things that weren't quite done. Um, tidied up a lot, put a couple of covers underneath. The last thing to go back in the car, or on the car I should say, is the front two trays and then it's done. Um, although after, 
I'm not going to put those on until I've done a bit more testing and stuff, purely just to get to the front easier. Um, other than that, I'm just waiting on for uh, waiting on the casings for my all-wheel drive controller that I've manufactured. Um, other than that, we're done. We're pretty much done. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start it, let it warm up, let all the exhaust burn off as much moisture and stuff as it can, um, and then spray the car down because it's just covered in dust. So spray it down, make it look a bit better, and uh, maybe take it for a test drive. All right, guys, so that's where we're going to end this uh, this episode today. Um, did a bit of testing with the exhaust on. All sounds great. Um, I trimmed a bit of the flanges because they were really, really big. Trimmed those down so it's no longer touching anywhere on the on the, um, on the diff mounts or anything like that because it, it did have a slight bit of swing and it, I'm pretty sure I heard it touch once or twice. But now it's solid, it's quiet, no rattles, no shakes. Um, had a mate who also has a 2.5 take for a drive. He says it feels really good. Um, yeah, so I am happy with the progress. I'm happy with the build. Really, really happy. As I said, I wouldn't have put my badge on unless I, I, th I thought it was pretty much done. But there are still some things looming before I kill those 0 60 times. So what I need to do, I'm in talks with BRC at the moment. I'm getting their, their tuner to remove the limiters in first and second. So I get full boost in first and second. And I think that's going to absolutely probably take us a second off of that 0 60 time. But we're going to have to wait for that. Um, lockdown doesn't help because I have to sneak around. I can't go down to the same road that I used before because there's a lot of police around there. It's sort of like a, a viewpoint area. So unfortunately for that, we're gonna have to wait a little while. What I am doing right now, I'm at my computer. Um, I was putting down a list of all the parts that I use as a roadmap, and I was gonna put that at the end of this video, but I think 15, 20 minutes of me just draining on um, about parts and prices might get a bit boring. So what I want to do is break it up with some car footage. So I'm going to go and get some uh, drive bars and that kind of stuff and see what I can do. Yeah, just to keep you entertained, obviously, because me draining on is not fun for anybody, really. So um, other than that, just to wrap this episode up, I'm completely happy with the build. Things are feeling really good. No odd vibrations. It does need four-wheel alignments, and I do still need to um, get the Mondeo rear spring perches because that's going to take out that body gap. Um, so I'm looking into that. So a couple of little things left to do, um, but really I'm absolutely happy with where we are. Um, drive straight and true. It tracks really well. It's quick. It's um, it's taking the drama out of the steering wheel. Um, but needs to be unleashed a bit more. Needs more power, needs more power in first and second. So um, that's the next things on the cards. But again, thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for um, sitting with me through this. Next week, I promise to, what we'll do is we'll lay out the, uh, the roadmap, what parts you're gonna need, what parts you, uh, you could get away with using, um, what parts you can fabricate, how much time I'm going to try to do a full rundown of what to expect and I'll also try and do what I paid for the parts and after some research what you should expect to pay for parts because some of the parts I did get cheap some of the parts I did get a little bit expensive so that's the next episode we'll get on to that but um, until the next time I hope you're all staying safe I hope you're all well and uh, leave a like leave a comment share it around get your mates to subscribe thanks for bearing with me